Neil, thanks for joining us. Martin Cassidy, the chief exec of uh, Ref Support UK, is with us. Um, his organisation's called you an embarrassment to football. Martin's on the line. Do you overstep the line every now and again, Neil? I, listen, everybody calls me an embarrassment to football uh, when they're wearing a black shirt. It seems to be, uh, you know, once a year, usually. Um, I remember the Chelsea thing, they made a big thing about that then, but... Uh, for me, you know, I mean, I, I know where you're coming from, Jim, but I, I clapped all the crowd the other night, went right round, and he's still on the pitch. Then what do you say? You know, I just said to him, can I see you in 30 minutes? And he said, yeah, come in 30 minutes. I don't want to talk on the pitch. Fair enough. Which he did. I saw him after the game. We had an amicable chat. And, uh, and that's how it is. Was, was it an amicable chat, Neil? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. It was uh, him and his two linesmen, you know, um, Eighty. I pointed out that 85 minutes and 88 minutes, the linesman on the far side got two wrong calls when we're trying to get back in the game, which shouldn't happen at that level. Uh, and I was able to say to him that Mike Riley's uh, the Euros and the Premiership, the, the free kick he gave, which resulted in their first goal, would never have been given. It was a clear tackle, and that's what the Euros, and everybody's told me that's what we, where we're going uh, with the new thing. So... You know, why didn't he follow suit? Um, and that's what he, he gave me his answers. Well, was, Martin Cassidy, yeah. Chief Exec of Ref Support UK, Neil has <laughs> taken time out to join us. Now, Martin, you haven't been backward and coming forward uh, with the way you've articulated your position. You've called Neil an embarrassment to football. The Middlesbrough need to take a long, hard look at themselves. It's a disgrace. This is your chance, Martin. What do you want to say to Neil? I, I, and I stick by that, Neil. I respect what you've achieved as, as a manager, but surely you must understand that when people watch your behaviour, like people mimic Rio and Cruyff's turns and stuff, they're going to mimic your behaviour. I'd like to ask you, why didn't did you have a go with Charlie Austin for headbutting your player? Absolutely, yeah. But that was it. That was it. He played. Listen, the referee said to me, right. He thought it was accidental. He saw it. That's what we're up against. Well, who teaches these people? Yeah, but did he have an angle on it? Did he have a correct angle on it? If by the looks of it, he was behind it. He was never yeah, going to have it. Well, he said to me, and I'm repeating, I had a good view of the incident, and I thought it was an accidental clash. I well, said, well, when you see the video, you might change your mind. And then I get a report. I spent an hour yesterday writing a report, and in about a week's time, I will get a reply from the Referee Association saying... Yes, I'm sorry, the two offsides shouldn't have been given. Yes, it was a, uh, it was a good tackle. Um, and, and, and yes, it should have been a red card for Charlie Austin. But that's no good to me in a week's time, isn't it? I, I want no, no, I agree, Neil. I, I, I agree. I agree. And it's not the referee association, it'd be the PGMOL. And, and so, and, and on PGMOL, some of the, what's the protocol about going on the field to play after a match to, to be anywhere near yeah, the match? I, listen, I've done that all. I got. I, I didn't even have a go at the referee against Chelsea when they used that footage. I'd gone on to thank all the fans, which were fantastic. And I'd been, I'd go around all the four corners of the Middlesbrough ground as well to thank him after the game. And then, as, uh, you, know, it's, uh, it's, you know, you can't just change things like that. I, you, listen, I agree. I understand, you, you, you know, you've got to jump on some. And I think I'm an easy target, if I'm honest. Well, because most of, well, most well, of the referees are the easy target. Most of the managers now have target. clipboards on the bench. And, uh, you know, your know, Arteta's must be a dream, Martin Keown, aren't they? Your know, Arteta's... <laughs> Neil, I, I think what Martin Cassidy of Ref, uh, Referee Support UK would suggest here is that on occasion, on occasion, Neil... Your behaviour would encourage referee abuse further down the football pyramid. 100%. I think that's rubbish, Jim. Absolute rubbish, mate.